Hi there everyone, it's JC. Welcome back. This card making tutorial features the Craft of Flower Himalayan Blue Poppy Layering Die Set. Let's use this set of steel dies to create modern cards with astonishing texture. The Craft of Flower Himalayan Blue Poppy Layering Die Set features two sets of flower and three foliage images when assembled. I love the easy to follow layering scheme found on the back of the Altenew packaging and the beautiful arrangements you can make with this set. These next two cards will rely heavily on texture as the main design element. I don't have any fancy ink combinations or coloring techniques, just easy ways to combine what you have in your card making stash to make these modern handmade cards. The design is influenced by the textured canvas art made with joint compound that has been popping up on my social media feed. Since my cards are going to focus on a textured floral arrangement, I thought the best background to make is a simple one. On a panel of this off-white cardstock panel, I'll use the dotted starburst debossing cover die to make this simple background. In order to adhere textured backgrounds to my folded note card base, I'll use the Altenew glue tape. I've had great results with this adhesive runner. I'll set this background panel and card base aside and work on the next textural element of this floral bouquet. I love that the recent Craft of Flower Layering Die series have these debossing elements to them. It makes an otherwise flat shape more dynamic and realistic like a real poppy flower. These debossed elements can be found in the petal layers, pistol, and stamen. Arranging the final die cut layers is as easy as aligning the keyhole or arrow space. You may need to reference the layering guide for the pistol and stamen layers, but otherwise the innovative layering system makes arranging these floral die cuts simple. The end result is seamless and full of dimension. There are other layering dies that are not part of the Craft of Flowers subscription. One of my favorites is the Peony Dream 3D die set. However, instead of layering each cardstock layer like we did for the Himalayan Blue Poppy image, I'll use an alternative way to deboss my cardstock. After die cutting these base layer petals from Peony Dream, I'll align the detailed die cut layer to the cardstock. It may be helpful to reference the layering schematic and also turn the die and cardstock over to make sure the cutting edge does not fall outside of the cardstock shape. I'll use a bit of satin masking tape to hold the die and cardstock together. Then using the tan embossing mat and embossing plate on my die cutting machine, I'll place the die and cardstock on my platform, cardstock side up then the tan embossing mat, then finally the embossing plate. What I'm left with is this indentation from the die that mirrors the embossing veins of the Craft of Flower Himalayan Blue Poppy. I'll finish layering this die set and now I'll quickly arrange the flowers. As I'm drafting the arrangement on my Altenew cutting mat, I'm considering a range of contrast. Sort of like how we use layering inks from light to dark values, I'm doing the same with paper only. To oppose the textured background, flower petals, and floral elements, I'm leaving the leaf layers bare. Aside from the debossing vein in the Himalayan Blue Poppy die set, I'm not going to layer the peony leaf for a range of texture on this card. I'll adhere all the die cut elements onto my card front using a mix of instant dimension foam tape and liquid glue. For my sentiment, I'll use Sweet Sentiments die set and cut just the text layer twice from the off-white colored cardstock. I'll glue two layers together for added strength. Then I used a very strong enamel-based adhesive to overlay the script over my flowers. Although there is a lack of color on this card, I love the textural play of this arrangement. There is so much texture to observe every time you tilt the card toward and away from the light. There are easier techniques to demonstrate with darker cardstock, so let's go to the other end of the spectrum of color. 
Off camera, I used the Craft of Flower Himalayan Blue Poppy Die Set to cut and assemble the images from Graphite cardstock. This cardstock is just slightly lighter than black cardstock. I picked this cardstock because I still want to play with shadows, and it would be hard to see them on black cardstock. To oppose the Himalayan Blue Poppy, I picked the Craft of Flower Orchids layering die set. This set may look intimidating with all the small intricate pieces, but everything you need to assemble one orchid flower is grouped together on a single die. So all I have to do is pick three clusters and cut them from the same graphite cardstock. While assembling the orchid flowers, I used some very small pieces of instant dimension foam tape to raise the labellum image from the petals and sepals. These small details make a huge difference when separating these two flower layers. I also use instant dimension foam tape in the final assembly of the card, but before I show that, I'm playing with a range of textures again with the foliage elements and other embellishments to this bouquet. I left the orchid stake untextured, just as it is, directly from the Craft of Flower Orchids die set. I also used flat textures from the Itty Bitty Branches die set to add little clusters around this bouquet. I die cut one of the leaf branches as well to fill in around the arrangement. I wanted a textured background again, but this time I wanted to use an embossing folder that didn't contain too many high and low spots. The GeoSteps 3D embossing folder was a perfect backdrop to this flower arrangement. As I arrange this bouquet on top of the embossed background, I'm using layers of instant dimension foam tape to raise up the flowers. I use anywhere between one and three layers of foam tape, just like the single orchid flower, to give plenty of shadows for this textured bouquet. Many of the flat foliage elements I adhere directly to the background. So not only do I have a card that has a lot of texture in the paper, but there is some height to the card with the instant dimension foam tape. I added another double stacked die cut sentiment from Sweet Sentiments die set, and that finishes this Craft of Flower Himalayan Blue Poppy and Orchid Perfect Pairing. Those are five techniques for adding astonishing texture to die cut flower arrangements. Let me know which card is your favorite in the comments. And as always, all the materials I used on this card making tutorial are linked in the description box. My series encourages you to shop your existing all to new stash and rekindle their love with newer releases. Perfect Pairings with JC airs on the all to new channel every second and fourth Sunday of the month. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for tuning in to this perfect pairing episode with me and I'll see you in the next one. Hello there crafty friend Lydia here. Just popping in to say that you can get your daily dose of crafting tips, techniques, and tutorials just like this by subscribing to the Altenew YouTube channel. All you need to do is click on that little bell up there and you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.